Artificial intelligence, or AI, is advancing more in the public's eye. You've probably heard about widely available online platforms, much like ChatGPT, where you can ask the AI service almost anything, and it'll feed back some sort of information. Well, now it's quickly entering our classrooms. All new on Daybreak, Anne Sprocko tells us what it's already doing and how we can catch up. Artificial intelligence is becoming more present than ever. It's in our offices, our homes, and in our schools. And you probably thought I was talking this whole time. Actually, AI created a voice of its own to mimic mine, showing you just how much it is advancing. And it really is everywhere. It's on our phones, our computers, our tablets, and AI experts say we simply can't avoid it at home or in the classroom. I think it's something that should be embraced. Dr. Isaac Ashumakine uses various AI platforms to help his students at Norfolk State University learn how to incorporate it into business technology. We've got uh, uh, many uh, AI platforms that are publicly uh, uh, accessible. And one of those more widely known public platforms is ChatGPT. You can ask the chat almost anything, even if it's silly, like asking it to create a haiku about tacos. Services like ChatGPT create it just for you. But you can also use it for something more serious, like how students are now using it to assist with their homework, which bears the question, at what point is using AI cheating or considered plagiarism? So just to request for that answer and copy, copy that word for word, then that could be an abuse. So, and, uh, so in that case, the students are not actually uh, learning what should be what is expected. But as Shumakine says, the use of this service in the classroom and at home is inevitable in today's day and age. Um, ChatGPT um, has not provided anything any different than Google was providing before. Ashuma Kine's colleague Felicia Doswell agrees not only is artificial intelligence so widely available, it's already so deeply embedded in our daily lives even if we don't realize it. I don't think we should, um, let's say, throw away the technology because AI is bringing us ways to quickly get information and ways to quickly train our students. But it also can be used for the t by the teachers in order to um, train them and show them how to utilize that information properly. So AI is everywhere. That doesn't mean it has to take over everything. Experts say we just have to learn to work with it. I'm Ann Sparacco for 13 News Now. Computer science experts add it's best to talk to your children at home about the use of AI with homework and projects. This will help keep a clear message from the classroom to the dinner table.